Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be another straight talk session, and the topic is Rocket League going free to play. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news because overall, I think Rocket League going free to play is going to be really good for the game. But there are some things that I definitely think the Rocket League community has been a little bit too quiet on and that need to be talked about. So today, I'm going to break down the reasons I'm scared about Rocket League going free to play and talk about some issues that are probably going to surface that you haven't thought about yet. But before we get started with that, if you're new to the channel and don't know about the new monthly giveaway I'm doing, then stay tuned because I'm going to talk more about that near the end of the video. But without any further wait, let's talk about why I'm worried about Rocket League free to play. Alright, so I'm going to break down everything I talk about in this video up into two sections, starting with Epic Games issues and then moving into the actual balance issues that I think are going to start when Rocket League goes free to play. So as you may already know, I'm not the biggest fan of Epic Games, and I wasn't too excited when they bought Psyonix a year ago. Luckily, they haven't really done anything to Rocket League so far, but I'm scared that when Rocket League goes free to play, they're really going to take over the game. And what I mean by that is when Rocket League goes free to play, I could easily see everything moving over to the Epic Games platform. They might shift things away from Steam, they might shift support away from Steam, and move everything to Epic Games servers. And you might think, why is that bad? It doesn't affect us, right? Well, not necessarily, because if everything moves over to the Epic Games launcher, that could mean no more Steam support, which is especially problematic if you're a PC player. Now this is all hypothetical, but let's say Epic Games shifts everything away from Steam and onto their platform. What is going to happen to, say, Steam Workshop maps? What will happen to all these maps that people put hundreds of hours into making? On top of that, what's going to happen to all these Steam apps and add-ons like Bacchus Mod? Will Epic Games Anti-Cheat even allow people to use Bacchus Mod? There are a lot of things that you probably haven't thought about yet that I could easily see Epic Games messing up and angering the community down the road. Worst of all though, I'm scared about what Epic Games might do to the item shop. Now I don't know about you guys, but I know that I don't want another Fortnite situation where you have to spend 20 some dollars to get a single item skin. And I could easily see Epic Games using Rocket League going free to play as justification for jacking up the price of all the items in the item shop. On top of that, if Epic Games really takes over when Rocket League goes free to play, there are a lot of quality of life changes that I think really might bother the community. Like, let me give you an example. I know in Fortnite, when you launch Fortnite every time, Epic Games shoves the battle pass and cosmetics down your throat. So imagine if every time you opened up Rocket League free to play, you instantly got put on an item shop screen and you had to watch a cutscene for them advertising the battle pass before you could actually play the game. I think a lot of people would be pissed if that started happening. Like I said, this is all hypothetical, but I think these things are real possibilities when Rocket League goes free to play, and I hope that the community is aware of what might happen so we can prevent this kind of thing from happening to Rocket League. Now on top of everything that might go wrong when Epic Games takes over, I think free to play is actually going to cause some serious problems for game balance. So as you probably already know right now, Rocket League has a pretty even distribution across all the ranks. Obviously there are some players at the very high end of the ranking spectrum, and there are some at the very low ends of the rank, but most people fall somewhere in the middle. The thing about Rocket League though, is that the initial learning curve is pretty tough, and what I can see happening is when all these new players come in from the free to play launch, they're going to have a really tough time getting ranked, and honestly, I think most of them won't have a shot against the current player base. Now this is a problem because if these players get crushed straight out of the gate by veteran players and can't find lobbies at their own skill levels, they might give up on the game before they even really give it a shot. As an example, you could probably imagine a player just starting playing Rocket League who's probably at a, only a Bronze 1 or Bronze 2 skill level and is going to have to be placed into games against veteran players who've been playing for 2-3 to three years and who really know what they're doing. Now if this player just gets beat up and keeps getting shoved lower and lower in the ranking system, they might get stuck so low in the ranking system that they just completely give up on the game. 
In the same way that people get stuck in the really high MMRs, like in Grand Champ where people can go up to 1800, 1900, 2000 MMR, if a new player gets stuck in the super low MMRs, 0 MMR, 100 MMR, 200 MMR, even negative possibly, a player could have to win 20 games before they even division up out of their rank. On top of Rocket League having to sort out all these new players into the ranking system, which is probably going to be a pretty rocky experience, Rocket League going free-to-play also has to deal with the new problem of smurfing. Because if everybody can make an account for free, high-ranked players are going to have a really easy time just making a new account and destroying poor lower-ranked players that shouldn't have to play against them. Now this is what I'm really scared could be detrimental for the community, because smurfing is a problem that Rocket League doesn't have to deal with very heavily heavily, but could become a real big issue after free-to-play. So basically what Epic Games is going to have to do is they're not only going to have to create a solution to deal with the problem of ranking everybody into a new system, but they're also going to have to prevent smurfs from taking advantage of new players while that's going on. Now a lot of different games have come up with solutions to this problem, but I think it's going to be really tough for Rocket League to figure it out because it's such a competitive game. In my opinion, I think they're going to have to do some sort of ranked lock feature, as well as either creating some new ranks or bumping everyone's rank up. Because as it currently stands, I think there's going to be a big influx of new players that will just clog up the lower ranks in Rocket League, and I could easily see people getting pushed down lower than silver, lower than bronze, all the way into negative MMRs, and if they get stuck there, that's going to be really bad for the game. So I think Rocket League either has to create new ranks, bump everybody's ranks up, maybe do a combination of both, and they're going to have to lock ranked up until you play a certain amount of games to prevent smurfs from just spam making new accounts, and to shield these lower ranked players from just getting crushed in the competitive lobbies. It's probably not going to be perfect out of the gate, so I want to know what you guys think should be done to solve these problems. Like I said guys, overall I'm really excited about Rocket League going free to play. There's going to be a lot of new players, veteran players are going to get cool items, more people are going to come into the game, I think there's going to be a surge in popularity of this game for a while, and I really do believe it's going to be a positive experience. I just hope Epic Games puts in the necessary changes to make this transition smooth. Anyways though guys, this is a very hot topic so I want to know what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Oh, and before this video ends, I wanted to talk about that giveaway I mentioned earlier. So if you're new to the channel and don't know about me, at the end of every month, I select a random commenter on my videos to win unlimited coaching sessions for me. What this means is all you have to do is leave a comment, and if you get picked, I'll coach you until you hit Grand Champion rank in Rocket League. So if you want to enter for a chance to win at that, all you have to do is leave a comment below with your rank in Rocket League. Anyways though guys, that is about all for this video, so if you did find the video interesting, all I ask is that you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all I've got though, so thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.